What's up, guys? It's Mike. My boy Johnny. He's got to take the fishing still, so like all his videos, share and subscribe. All right, later. Free trip walk around. <laughs> Usually we clean the air filter too, but yeah, but we said we don't have to do any of that. We just gotta make sure that the water is grounded right radiator there. ground. Maybe that looks good. good. That bolt loose. Yeah, that looks good. Washer feels good. Tires. Tires, bolts, fluids. Fluids. Jack cylinder, hydro cylinder. I got food in there. Pole yeah. pooter. I think we're missing. Is this this, 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 this right here? Yeah. Yeah, then we have we have everything in here. Yep. Check. Did you already check this? No. Pole choker, balls, ground, chain. Little transformer sling. Transformer sling. Uh, the wood blocks. We have to take a mouse if we want. I thought we weren't rigging. Like, no. We gotta double check though.
that's about maximum we want to go. All right, rigger's coming down. Rigger's, rigger's coming down. down. Coming up. Riggers coming up. Riggers coming up. Collect the switch. 
needs to be down. The last guy went like this. Didn't realize he hit this button. Or you're not standing on the dead man. So we're still not using the throttle. We're still not going to use this lever. And we're still not using the lever next to the boom. Now if we get a chance, we get uh, enough people done, then I'll do another demo on how to drop that auger. So if we will start using those things. But for right now, we're not using the stuff on the outside. When you get up here, it's your turn. Look at the controls, read the controls, look down here, move them a little bit, and then do your warm up. First guy on the truck starts the truck up. If you start, if you turn the truck off in the cab, you gotta turn it back on in the cab, or at least turn the key to the off position. If you turn it off up here, you can either way. Uh, start it down there or start it up there. So the first guy, he's gonna boom up 10 foot, he's gonna winch off 10 foot. Watch your head. Yeah, he boomed up 10 foot, he winched up 10 foot, he rolled the truck around to the back. He went to the opposite direction of the truck next to him. So don't swing around towards the truck, park next to it, go the opposite direction. Now he's gonna spend a few minutes warming up on the controls, running all the controls. Then he'll get down and the next guy will get up. He'll run all the controls, same thing. Now remember, I push you guys on following directions, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's really, really important. Um, it always seems to happen. There's at least one crew that thinks that they got to boom up 10 foot, winch off 10 foot, and then they start running the extensions out. But what are the directions? Boom up, boom 10, up, boom up, up winch down, 10, and turn around. Bring it around the back, warm up then controls. start. Warm up that, could be, that could be enough right there if you're in a cast test to end your test. You know, because they give you specific directions of what they wanted you to do. Boom up 10 foot, winch off 10 foot, roll the truck around in the back. You boom up 10 foot, you winch off 10 foot, you run the second stage out, you just failed the cast test. And a lot of times, when you fail one portion, that's where your test ends. There are some parts of, of a test, you get to a certain point to where you don't it's not a pass or fail, you actually get a, a graded score. Uh, but usually in the beginning, all the stuff in the beginning, it's a pass or fail. If you fail it, you're done. So running that second stage out could be enough to just end the test. Hey, you fail. You had three three instructions. Boom up, winch off, roll around the back. And you couldn't even follow those directions. So focus on what you're being told, what you're being taught out here. Listen and follow the directions. So everyone is going to do one <coughs> warm-up. Once everyone's come around, done their warm-up, then the first guy, he should be back running the truck again. That guy will pick up the first transformer. Then we'll start running the transformer. I'm going to show you how uh, that guy needs to set up the truck. The dog.
cross your fingers. Keep together in the middle. Or hold it out like that, like you've got it right there. Keep your hands free. Right, the object here is, go ahead and stop that thing from swinging. Three to four inches of swing is too much. You gotta do it over again, start over again. The idea is that I got plenty of extension out. All that I'm gonna do is boom, down, winch up. When I get out far enough, I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna get all the way to the outside, then I'm gonna rotate back. Then I'm gonna boom up and I'm gonna winch off and I'm gonna bring it back to there. That's all you need to do. As long as you got your truck set up like I have it right here. Second stage, almost all the way out, if not all the way out, what you want to do. Um, <clears throat> how do you know where we're extended, how you're at, and then how do you know second just stage? Just go until it stops. The truck, oh, it stops itself? It will, it will. It, well, it only goes so far, right? I don't know. Your first boom, too? Yes. They all stop. They can't go past the What are you talking about? Your first boom? Your, well, your whole, your boom, it won't go further than that? Oh, you mean uh, it won't go higher? Uh-huh. Sure it will. But where's the transformer at? Right here. I don't want to go any higher because the transformer's there. I wouldn't want to go any higher and have the hook back here. I need to put the hook right over the load. Got it. So I'm going to boom up to where I got the hook over the load. Got it. Um, about a foot off the ground. You're gonna use two controls at the same time. When you're booming down, you're winching off at the same time. This isn't a boom down till where it almost touches the ground and then I stop and then I winch up a foot. Then I boom down again till it almost touches the ground and I stop and I winch up a foot. As you're booming down, you're winching up. The whole idea is to be able to, to work two functions at the same time. My guy on the ground, the only thing he's gonna do, is need someone standing out there at that conduit on the corner. Give me signal. Now move this way towards me. Stop right there. Turn and look that way. You're going to give me the thumbs down signal and you're going to bring me out as far as I can go to where when I, I can just barely, when I make my turn, I can still miss that conduit, that next one in front of you, but I only want to miss it by a couple inches. And that should set me up to where I can miss the other one over there long as I'm not swinging. That's all he's got to do. The rest of it I can do on my own. I just can't see how close I am to that far one on the back side. That's his job. Uh oh. Let's start. Open when that latch to confirm that latch is open. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, for, forward tightens it. So, <laughs> so that's opening. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You gotta hold it off. Latch open. Latch open. Yeah. Auger coming down. Auger coming down. Pull Don't let go of that latch. Clear! Clear! I can't see this. We are... There's a slack on that line. Okay. Here. Yep. Auger coming in. Auger coming up. Auger coming up. Coming up. Up. Then you just tighten it and it'll lock in. It'll tell you when it's locked. Good. Yes. Latch. Uh, open latch. Latch open. Huh? Latch open. Yell it. Latch open. Latch. 
Watch open. Auger coming down. Pull Auger pull coming down. down. I didn't hear it. Let's see. That's open. Clear. Just like I told him, when it when it's clear, you can just you can literally just let this go. It'll drop back itself. Yep. Auger coming in? Yep. Or going up? Going up or coming in. Auger going back up. Auger going up. Latch closed. Latch closed. Thank you. Oh, that's it. I don't know. I guess I want to do that thing again. You guys all went? Yeah, we'll do the gas thing. He needs to do his speed. Yeah. His speed run. Jeez. <laughs> 